I'm going to show you a, an application you can install uh, onto your Android phone or tablet called Work in Progress. Now you've probably seen over on the desktop version of Standard Time the Work in Progress screen. So I'm going to go to the View menu, choose Work in Progress, and so up pops this screen that shows you the status of jobs, hours that you have worked, percent complete, employee status, and um, whether the timer is running for that job. You can put this on a big 75 inch monitor, hang it out on the shop floor so that every employee can see it. But it turns out that um, there's also an application down on the Android that you can use on your phone or a tablet. So we're looking at a little tablet here right now. I've got a little $50 RCA Voyager tablet and it's basically looking at the same information. We've got the work in progress screen, very similar to what you saw before. Uh, so you have list of jobs, last activity, number of hours, and these columns are configurable just like on the desktop. Go back and we can look at employee status. And so you see the list of employees, the last uh, time they worked on something, the job that they worked on, shown there in the notes. You have synchronization, so you can pull down all the data from standard time, same data that you saw over there. And then you have settings. So let's go ahead and look at these settings. There's four sections here, general, notifications, uh, data in sync, and work in progress. So I'm just going to tap on general for now. You've basically here just got copyright, legal, contact information, nothing big there. Then in notifications, this will pop up notifications for certain things that you've selected. You can look at um, uh, employee timers not running for a certain number of time, uh, employee timers that exceed a certain number of hours, and then project percentages that exceed a certain percentage. You can make choices there and then this will pop up those notifications right there on your Android phone or tablet. Uh, let's look at data in sync. You have sync frequency for how often you want to pull down data, the last synchronization, the number of time logs you want to pull down so that you can see more context. Of course you got your username, password, and then the URL that you're uh, synchronizing with, whether that's with the web edition or the Windows edition, you can put the URL in there. So let's go back again, whoops, and go into work in progress. You can see what designates a job, whether that is uh, projects, tasks, work orders, and some text fields. Then you can also configure the columns like we talked about before where you set which columns you want to display. So basically you can then go into these screens and see the status of jobs um, and see the columns that you've selected. Uh, down at the bottom here you also have some choices with, uh, if you want to look at the employee status, very similar to uh, looking at um, the status from that home page. Then you've got your time logs. These are just the raw time logs that uh, you may want to take a look at. These are all synchronized, pulled down from standard time. So you've got, um, in this case, 180 days worth and you can pull down as many as you like. That's a synchronization choice. But let's just go back out and then pull down here and um, looks like we've got one notification right here got some employees whose timers are not running right now so let's go ahead and tap on that and that's just going to pull up a short list now so you can see these are the people that don't have the timer running right now so you could go ask them what's going on maybe they're on break maybe they're on lunch but uh, you, you got things like that that you can look into um, but there's your home page and um, that's the work in progress application so I encourage you to not only use it uh, on the desktop, but also on a tablet or right on your phone, get notifications, and just do regular synchronizations uh, during, during business hours and uh, be able to get the information right on your phone. Hope you like it.